mode. This one alpha in DC, and now this is alpha in AC mode. So alpha AC equals to uh, delta IC over delta IE. Delta means difference, yeah? difference of uh, point in IC divided by difference of uh, point in IE. So we go on to the next slide. Okay, now we go on to the common emitter configuration. As you can see here, uh, for common emitter configuration, the emitter is grounded. Emitter is grounded. So, uh, the most frequently accounted transistor configuration appears in this figure for the PNP and NPN transistor. It is called the common emitter configuration because the emitter is common to both the input and output terminal. Common means it is grounded. Okay, so common emitter means ground at the emitter terminal. Alright. Uh, okay. Mm, Alright. So, as you can see here, this is forward bias. The current here is moving to the transistor. And if it is in this configuration, so the current will be flowing like this. But if you choose PNP, it is different from NPN, the current should be like this, flowing this way. So what is the difference between flowing down and flowing up? The difference is that the equation will be different. So if you use NPN, the equation, the loop equation will be like this. But if you use PNP, your loop equation will start from here to this. Okay. Right. Okay. So this is the operating region for common emitter. Alright. So the emitter, collector and base current are shown in their actual conventional current direction. Even though the transistor configuration has changed, the current relation level open earlier for the common base configuration are still applicable. That is IE equals to IC plus IB and IC equals to alpha IE. So, although the configuration here is different, but the equation for IE equals to IC plus IB is still applicable. Alright. So, for common emitter configuration, the output characteristic are plot of the output current IC versus output voltage VCE for a range of value of input IB. So this is value of IB. Okay. The input characteristic are the plot of the current IB. This is the characteristic for base, base characteristic versus the input voltage VBE. So this is IB versus VBE for a range of value of output voltage VCE. So this is output voltage VCE. Okay, uh, before I move on to the next slide. Voltage VCE is actually voltage across collector and emitter like this. Hmm? VCE means voltage across collector and emitter like this okay this is the voltage drop yeah, from this point to this point 
that is VCE. Okay. VBE is the voltage across base and emitter. So this is the voltage drop VBE. Mostly VBE equals to 0 0.7 volt. But if you want to find VCE, you need to do the uh, loop equation. But uh, this lecture is about the introduction of BJT. So after this, I will uh, show you the uh, analysis of DC and AC. Alright, now we go on to the next slide. This is the common collector configuration. Before this is the common emitter. Now we go on to the common collector configuration. Uh, this is the third and final transistor configuration. That is the common collector configuration. Uh, the common collector configuration is used primarily for impedance matching purpose, purposes since it has a high input impedance and low output impedance opposite to the uh, to that of the common base and common uh, emitter configuration all right so um, normally used for impedance matching purpose has high input impedance and low output impedance z represent impedance okay this is input impedance this is output impedance for pra practical purpose output characteristic of uh, common collector same as uh, common emitter the input is on the base and the output is on the uh, emitter practical purpose here means that if you want to do the analysis so the equation that you can use uh, uh, is like uh, common uh, collector and also common uh, emitter all right so this is the amplification factor <coughs> Okay, uh, beta represent the amplification factor of the transistor. Okay, there are two types of uh, uh, beta. The first one is DC mode and the second one is AC mode. So, in the DC mode, the level of IC and IB are related by a quantity called beta and defined by the following equation. This is the equation. In data sheet, beta is sometimes referred to as HFE. Typically, beta is between 50 to 400. This is the amplification factor. Okay, <coughs> <coughs> Means that if you move IB here, IC will increase depends on the amplification factor. If beta DC equals to 100, IB equals to 1, so it will, uh, sorry, IB equals to 2, so it will become uh, 200. If beta is like 200, so it will, IC will become uh, 400. So it depends on the amplification factor to the to define or oh sorry to the uh, to find IC. So IC and IB are determined at a particular operating point on the characteristic. For practical devices, the level of beta typically range from uh, 50 to 400 with most in the mid range as far for sorry as for alpha the parameter beta reveals the relative magnitude of the current with respect to the 
other for a device with a beta of 200 the collector current is 200 times the magnitude of the base current so that is uh, beta in DC <coughs> Uh, for your in information, beta in DC is usually included in the specif specification sheet <coughs> as HFE but uh, capital letter. Eh? For DC, H, uh, small letter. F and E is capital letter. Okay, for AC mode, HFE is H uh, small letter, F small letter, and E small letter. That is for AC mode. Okay, so for AC situation, and AC beta is defined as this. Okay. Uh, beta AC equals to the difference point of IC divided by the different point of IB, where VCE is constant. Alright, so alpha equals to different point of IC divided by different point of IE, and typically it is less than 1. So the relationship between amplification factor beta and alpha can be shown here. As you can see here, alpha equals to beta over beta plus 1 or beta equals to alpha over alpha plus 1. Eh, sorry, alpha minus 1. Relationship between current, IC equals to beta IB and IE equals to beta plus 1 IB. So this is the uh, relationship between current all right now we go on to the uh, but before that you guys need to write this down this equation is important in your analysis yeah? DC and AC analysis this equation is very important so make sure you take this note uh, seriously all right Okay, this is uh, the example. Uh, if you want to find B, D, C, and also B, D, C. So <coughs> here, all right. The use of, sorry, the use of this equation. Okay. Uh, okay. This equation can be best described using this graph. Okay. Let us determine B beta, eh? means beta, beta AC for a region of the characteristic defined by an operating point of IB equals to 25 uh, micro m and vce equals to 7.5 volt so here you can see the line here this is 25 micro m for ib and the voltage vce here is 7.5 volt the restriction of VCE equals to constant requires that a vertical line be drawn through the operating point at VCE equals to 7.5. So this is the vertical line. Right? So you have to choose two points from here. So this is the first, uh, sorry, the the first point is here and the second point is here. Okay. So at any location, okay, at any location on this vertical line, the voltage VCE is 7.5 volt, a constant. Okay. 
the change in IB or we can say delta IB as appear in appearing in this equation uh, you are using that equation <coughs> is then defined by choosing two points on either side of the Q point so this is the Q point so you can choose this point and also this point along the vertical axis of about equal distance to either side of the Q point. For this situation, IB equals to, if you look here, 20 micro M and also 30 micro M curve meet the requirement without extending too far from the Q point. So they also define levels of IB that are easily defined rather than require interpolation of the level of IB between the curves. Okay. So it should be mentioned that the best determination is usually made by keeping the chosen delta IB as small as possible. So please don't like for well, one point here and the other point here, it's best if you choose delta IB as small as possible. Alright, now by putting the value in the formula here, you will get beta AC equals to 100. That is at VCE equals to 7.5 volt. So for B beta DC, the solution above reveals that for an AC input at the base, the collector current will be about 100 times the magnitude of the base current. If we determine the DC beta at the Q point, we obtain BDC equals to 2.7 milliamp divided by 25 microamp, then it will become... Uh, 108 so beta dc the formula is here ic over ib so that is why you just simply put uh, 2.7 milliamp divided by uh, 25 micro m uh, so this is ib and this is ic <coughs> okay so 2.7 is actually here okay at this point this is 2.7 IC and IB is at 25 microamp. Alright, so you can see that beta AC and beta DC is approximately the same. Okay. Alright, now we that is for determining beta for a graph. Now we look at the limits of operation. Alright. Uh, for each uh, transistor, there is a region of operation on the characteristic that will ensure that the maximum rating are not being exceeded and the output signal exhibit minimum distortion. So all of the limit of operation are defined on a typical transist transistor specification sheet. Okay. Alright. So there are limits here. Okay. VCE is at maximum and IC is at minimum. Where IC max equals to ICEO in the cutoff region. This is the cutoff region. This is the saturation region. This is the active region. Okay. IC is at maximum and VCE is at minimum. So this is uh, horizontal axis here is VCE. The vertical uh, line here is the IC. So when IC is at maximum, you will get 
uh, minimum of VCE. Okay, in the saturation region, the transistor operates in the active region between saturation and cut off. So between saturation and cut off. So the transistor will operate in this region. Okay. Some of the limits of operation are self-explanatory, such as maximum collector current, normally referred to on the specification sheet, and maximum collector to emitter voltage, often abbreviated as BVCEO or sometimes V in bracket BR CEO on the specification sheet so the vertical line on the characteristic defined as uh, VCE saturation specifies the minimum VCE that can be applied without falling into the nonlinear region labeled the saturation region the level of VCE saturation is typically in the neighborhood of uh, 0 0.3 volt specified for this uh, tran transistor. The maximum dissipation level is defined by the following equation here for common base PC max uh, equal to VCB IC, PC max for common emitter equals to VCE IC, and common collector equals to. PC max equals to VCE um, IE. So this is the example of transistor specification sheet or data sheet okay, for a transistor. Uh, this is an NPN transistor here. So I think that is all. Uh, thank you very much uh, uh, for this class. Uh, if you have any uh, question, uh, please WhatsApp me. All right. Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera. Bye.